What is going on guys? It's Cam Brown and welcome back to the Gear Focus YouTube channel. I thought it'd be fun today to kind of revisit an old industry staple, the Canon 5D Mark IV. It's kind of hard to believe that this camera came out in 2016 because it was such, such a standard and such a workhorse for pretty much every professional photographer. Now this year alone, a ton of cameras have come out that both do photo really well and video at a really, really high level. So I wanted to bring the 5D out and see if it stacks up or if it is pretty dated. Before we take this out into the field, I wanna go over some camera specs really quickly. This has both 30 megapixels and it shoots 1080 video as well as 4K video. 4K is motion JPEG, so I'm personally really curious on how that looks. And last but not least, some 5D Mark IVs did come with Canon C-Log, so I want to see what the dynamic range and the bit depth is like on that. Let's get shooting. I don't think we have to spend too much time on photo quality, even by today's standards, 30 megapixels is plenty for pretty much anything that you're shooting. Photos looked great, they were tack sharp, the autofocus was nice and snappy, I have no complaints and I didn't see any faults in the images when I was editing them. switch the Canon 5D Mark IV over to video. Uh, that's kind of where I ran into some troubles, not too many, but definitely some to note. The 4K crops pretty heavily, and in my opinion, if you're spending the money on a full frame camera and you need video, that's a pretty big sacrifice. It definitely does suffer from a lack of a few key options for video. Uh, I would have really liked a focus peaking. That way with manual focus, you can kind of see what's in focus and what's just out of focus. Um, for me, that's pretty important. I will say the Canon 24 to 70 that I was using on this body in video mode, the autofocus was definitely usable. So when it comes to focus modes, there's definitely some pros and cons and decisions that you will have to make as a filmmaker. The 5D Mark IV was never supposed to be a full-fledged video camera. So the fact that there's even C-Log in this body, uh, in my opinion, is just a bonus. And really, when you're looking at this footage, it looks pretty solid. I mean, I would say if you just want to get some basic cinematic footage to throw up on an Instagram reel or make a little YouTube video, then the Canon C-Log out of the 5D Mark IV is 100% usable. And that leads me to my last thing I wanna talk about. Uh, who is the 5D Mark IV for? Now, if you're a photographer, maybe a wedding photographer, and you just kinda of wanna of offer some video on the side or for your own personal projects, and you don't need the video to be the best of the best quality, then this camera might be for you. Um, it's 100% an amazing photography camera. Um, I would say equal to, if not better than most of the cameras on the market right now. So that's kind of my recommendation if you should get the 5D Mark IV or not. If this did help you decide if this camera is right for you or not, head over to gearfocus.com and purchase yourself your new camera. 